G'day, it's Shane here and Tyler from Lonely Great TV. And thank you for joining me in my home bar. More importantly, thank you for helping me spread McLaren Vale wine to the world. Though in saying that today, no McLaren Vale wine. I've got a wine from the Barossa and a wine from Coonawarra. And today is a structured, uh, not a structured tasting, it's a sponsored tasting, sorry, from Wolf Blass. And the reason I'm doing that is because Wolf Blass are running a promotion and they've asked me to, uh, to talk to you about that. And the promotion is what they're calling the ultimate cricket test. Now I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's the, the label that comes with some of the bottles. They're doing an in-store promotion for um, between now and the 14th, so midnight on the 14th of December, so not far away. And it's for <clears throat> one person in every state and territory in Australia, yes, one person, gets uh, sent to the Boxing Day test uh, in the Vodafone box with Wolf Bless himself. G'day Wolf, uh, I'm a big Norwood supporter, love your man, because uh, number one supporter for Norwood for a lot of years. Um, and love your wine too, by the way, though that shouldn't be secondary. Now, uh, they were also doing an online uh, Ultimate Cricket Test game as well. I'll put links on the video for you to have a look at. So, um, really, really uh, pumped by this. And thank you, Wolf Blast, for sending me uh, the wine so we could, uh, so I could um, share them with you. All right? So, my lovely assistant, if you can get me the first bottle of wine. It's this one. Thank you very much. So, this is the Wolf Bass Gold Label. Kunawara Cabernet Sauvignon 2007, and there's the label. Okay. Um, I must say, I've never tried this wine. So I am looking forward to it immensely. Let's wash out the glass. Well, I can smell that already. Yes, me too. Does it smell good? Yes, just a little bit. Just a little bit? You don't drink it, do you? No. No. Now, two things straight away, and that's American and French. I believe I'm getting some American and French tones coming through, so it'll be interesting to see if they talk about hard to read. Yes, French and American oak. There we go. So the nose knows, hey Tyler? Nose yeah, nose. the nose knows. I'm getting some restrained fruit coming through. Uh, these wines have been open for about uh, 30 minutes. Let's try it. That is really good. No idea what the price point of that wine is, uh, but I really enjoy that wine. There's a lot of structure, there's a lot of balance. And it's really interesting, the, um, the American, um, there's, a, there's just that little hint of that American vanilla coconutty coming through. There's a little bit of that cedary from the French oak. Um, there's some lovely, lovely Kunawara fruit. Now it's interesting for me to say that because I think a lot of Kunawara fruit is a little bit green. And I really don't like that herbaceous side and, and the green capsicum side that you get from a lot of Kunawara Cabernet. But I'm not getting that here. There's a lot of nice structure. There's a lot of that black fruits and everything else. This wine still has a lot of time left in the bottle. Um, and I think if we were to drink that now, uh, a wonderful wine to drink now, but it's only going to get better over the next five to ten years. Definitely food wine, whatever sort of red meaty thing that you want to have there, um, because there is plenty of flavour, plenty of structure, and it needs that plenty of flavour and structure in the meat to, to go with it. So really enjoy that wine. You want to spill that? You like that? Yeah. yeah. I don't let him drink it though. Of course not. Now can I have wine number two please? Yes. Thank you. So again in the Wolf Blast Gold Label range, 
This is the Barossa Shiraz 2008. Now I'm interested in this wine. Um, Barossa and Shiraz are two things that go hand in hand, the same as McLaren Vale and Shiraz does. Very different to, to McLaren Vale Shiraz. So interesting to, to taste the uh, comparison between the two. But also 2008 was a very, very hot year and made conditions um, quite difficult for the vigneron and the winemaker. So uh, very interested to see what type of character comes out of this wine. So we just need to... Smell it? No, we'll... Give it a, a rinse, hey? Now, what, one thing I did want to find out was how much alcohol was on here. Wasn't it tonic? 15% alcohol, so it is <coughs> it is a fairly big wine <coughs> at 15% alcohol <coughs> and not surprising as I said from that particular vintage. Want to smell? You like that? Yeah. Do you like it as much as the other one? Not really. Yeah, not, not as good as the other one? No. They smell exactly the same. Oh, I don't think so. To me. Okay. This one's got a, gamb a gambit of red fruits, but really those dark Sapsuma plums is really coming through nicely. Uh, there is some oak. Not as obvious as, as the other one, but um, if it's true to form, it'll be French and American oak. But just that lovely, lovely um, plumminess just coming through. That You know, just typical Shiraz. Um, not as big and bold maybe as I was expecting uh, and certainly the oak I thought might have been huge on this wine as well so let's give it a try and see how that comes eh? shall we do that? Yeah. Big ripe Shiraz. The fruit is actually um, quite concentrated, again as you expect from 2008, but it's not the big plumminess, um, not, not, not the jammy fruit the, that I've tasted from a lot of 08 fruit, it, though it is pretty big. Um, there is American um, sweetness in there, the American oak sweetness. Um, and I also like uh, that little hint of cedariness coming through as well. So there is French and American oak in there. No mistake about that at all. Um, really enjoy the finish because it's not that big monster coming through. There's not the big um, fruit. There's not the huge tannins and everything else. It's just nice and mellow right across the palate. Um, in fact, I, unlike my uh, learned partner here, uh, my... Uh, my uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Really, really nice. It's going to be interesting. My uh, my wife loves good Shiraz, and uh, I'm going to get her to try this uh, later, not in the video, and uh, <laughs> to see what she thinks. Mmm, very, very good. So, Wolf Blast Gold Label, worth getting your hands on. It really is. Now, remember, go back to the uh, Wolf Blast in-store promotions. They have either one of these labels on them, or uh, something similar around the top of the bottle to uh, to show that it's part of the ultimate cricket test. Remember, if you buy a wine between one of those wines in store between now and the 14th of December, which is not far away, and go into that competition, you can win a trip to the MCC, all expenses paid, lots of fun, Wolf Blast in the Vodafone box. Go and play with Michael Slater on the ultimate cricket test outside the MCG at lunchtime. Uh, and just generally have a lot of fun, I, I suspect. If you do that and, and, and you win, let me know. Let me know how it all went uh, so we can tell uh, all the people that watch uh, these videos. But I tell you what, I'll be rather jealous. So that's all the time Tyler and I have for you today. So thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you next week. Bye.